Okay, it's been 84 days. It's a really cool clutch. We found out the mom and the dad aren't exactly what we thought because we thought the dad was a, a purple, but he ended up turning out to be a lavender. So we got multiple colors. There's a good size clutch. All those babies, because they were in a different box, hatched a day early. Now, that being cool, they're already out. But that being said, check out these ones that are hanging their heads out. This one's got his head hanging out. This one just had it in, but got a little nervous when he heard my loud, noxious voice. <laughs> so these can get up to 25 feet long. They claim they can get 30 feet long, but I, I haven't seen that, so I'm I'm waiting to see it. So what we're gonna do, what we're doing here is to make sure that nobody's gonna drown the egg. We got a couple here. We're gonna just put these two in here because they're part of this clutch. These ones aren't quite ready to come out. So you can see that when they come out, it's pretty cool actually. Look at this. This is one of the beautiful babies. So this, the belly button is gone. And sometimes they have a little tiny button that falls off, but all of them have fallen off. And look at this. Now this is another weird thing. I'm just dying to cut this egg open because normally when you can see a window, this edge is a window, I call it. You can see into the future a little bit. But here's the weird part. Normally I can tell they're albino. In this particular one, I can't tell now almost impossible that that is not an albino but we're gonna find out in this video but i have a hunch i gotta be wrong so just because if i was to bet money i would say it was a normal but given the fact that there should be no normals in here i'm gonna say it isn't oh look at this that egg is like so ready to hatch it's almost like opening by itself because they act they actually change now you can see it's soft that's because the whole time they're incubating they grow i got these little kid scissors now let's see here so the reason why we cut them is we don't want anybody to drown in the egg so this one looks like it's doing good so we're looking good they are slimy the only time snakes are slimy and uh, if i didn't say it clear these are reticulated pythons are the, actually the longest snakes in the world and uh, they're not necessarily always the heaviest supposedly anacondas can be heavier now here this now okay so this is not looking good so this is why we cut eggs. But the good news is, guess what? Whew, that was close. So this baby here had about a 90% chance that he would have died. She or he would have died if I wouldn't have cut this egg. I could tell it was looking kind of a little bit transparent. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. A little discolored. But here's the part that scared me. The blood vessels are really pulled back. And that means that it's losing the ability to breathe through the egg. And that's when they die without coming out. Everybody else looks pretty good, so I think we're gonna be okay. This is the other one that I would have been worried about, but it already cut on its own. And, uh, but you see how, how it's really clear. It's got this clear edge. That's what happens when they're gonna not make it. So the good news is I'm pretty sure all these will make it. The other ones all made it, all did good. One had a little tiny kink. Uh, I don't know if I can find them for you right now, but I'm gonna show you what's in these. So, that, so they were, like I said, they're at 84 days and that's about what it takes. We do them at 90 degrees, and this is actually genetics 101 kind of, because these are albino. Now that is a lavender golden child, which means that it had to have purple genes, which is actually a, called the T-positive albino, because it actually has color in it. So normally we think of albino with no color. Well, guess what? We got that kind of albino too. It's called amelanistic, and that means it's missing the A pigment. And in this case, it's actually completely white the way it's supposed to be now that being said i gotta see there it is funny enough look at that i picked it really lucky oh look look another one with a kink so this one's got a little kink right there and its tail's curly now sometimes when they're on the end of the tail they can literally just a little bit of therapy pulled on once in a while for a, for the first month they'll come straight now so it probably this clutch is at a different temperature, maybe not as quite as perfect as that clutch, which is the same clutch, same parents. This one did have one with a little bit of a kink, and that one has a little bit of a kink. So let's see what we got here. So that was a, that was a tiger, white face. I mean, a uh, golden child. Where'd I go? That wasn't a white face. Let me see if I have a white face. There's a white face right there. So that's a white face, and that's, a, that's not a tiger. And is there two in there? Only one. It looks smaller. So here is a nether lavender gold, a lavender tiger. We've got these crazy little scissors. 
If really, I probably prefer the razor blades, but if I'm real careful, these are just as safe. There you go. You can see it right there. See him? All that, he's per doing perfectly good. That's a tiger. So this one here is already cut. I'm just gonna still cut a little bit open because sometimes I can get tangled, get like right in this little hole and get caught. Oh, he might even take off. And that is a normal albino white fa white faced tiger. Let's see here. Oh, this one here's got kind of a weird end on it, but you know what? That's why you never give up on the eggs. Because even with the weird end, it made it. So let's see here. What do we got here? So, so the see how, now see how that's got big, nice, healthy veins. That's what you want it to have. When they're like I say, when the veins are going away, ooh, it's a beautiful golden child white face. See, beautiful color, absolutely wonderful. So that egg, despite the fact that the egg looked bad, has a perfectly good baby in it. Let's see what we got here. I just, I'm still wondering what this one's going to be because, man, it's just hard to believe that's an albino. So let's see. Okay, there we go. So, so far, everything's albino like it's supposed to be. And now you can see that's umbilical cord right over its head. So I'm probably going to have to make sure that that umbilical cord is not wrapped up because it looks wrapped up that it may be coming up on the wrong side. So I'm gonna take a little peek and make sure that that umbilical cord doesn't get wrapped around its neck. So I just pull its head out, Looks, that's its tail. But I'm pretty sure it's okay. It looked, it looks suspiciously tangled up around its neck. I've had a few tangled up around their neck. And so those can turn into another problem where the baby, wow, look at that, that thing looks like an anthrax, but it's not, it's just a beautiful, beautiful lavender. That's the white phase and the purple phase, which is basically T positive, T negative for all you uh, absolute nerd reptile people or the people who want to be nerd reptile people. So look at that. This one here is telling us that it's ready, but we have to double check. So it wants to jolt. And see, that's not completely ready. It thinks it's ready, but it's not. So you see that right there? That's pretty close. And if it crawled away, it would be perfectly fine. But I prefer it would be that long. Even though the yolk is just about gone, I prefer it to stay in its egg. So we're going to take this one. Now, this will take like five minutes. <laughs> Have you ever had that kid that doesn't want to do what you want it to do? Well, <laughs> this is like changing a diaper on that one that wants to pee in your face. <laughs> Yell and scream and kick. Come on, back in. You don't, you're not old enough to make your decisions yet. He's like, yeah, I am. I'm out. I'm out. I've been in there long enough. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's kind of frustrating sometimes to get them back in, but this is literally, if I had a, if I had a box set up by itself, I would just put it in there and let it just do its own thing by itself. But because I'm going to put in with some other babies and that's a little longer than I like to see, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of tease him back in there and get his umbilical cord back in there with him. Even though he's got almost all his yolk swallowed, that is still going to shrink up and be really small. So there we go. So back in it goes. There we go. Okay. Should we cut that one that looks like we can't? That looks like a non-albino that can't be an albino. Ah, we'll wait. Cut a couple more real quick. Here we go. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that one. That's a gorgeous snake. Now, so that's the membrane on the inside. So I like to make sure that's popped. And that is a white phase golden child, no tiger. So that one there has just one type of albino in it. Now the other ones, they had to steal because, so the, the actual snake that produced it had two kinds in it. But the reason why there wouldn't be another kind, it can't produce, basically that purple gene can't reproduce itself unless it's got purple on both sides. So it creates the one in the middle, and that's a lavender. The lavender is literally both the white, the real white, and the real dark one together. The caramel or, or albino uh, T positive. In this case, they're called purples, which really was just a, a quick name for a snake that was a T positive that they didn't think were really a T positive because it was confusing on the genes. Because usually, purple won't work with white, amelanistic. So I'm trying to clean this guy up to show you how pretty he is a little bit. 
Look at that. So you can see they got all these veins around, but they cut through that in order to escape themselves. So we're just doing nothing that's not normal, except we're not letting any die. So that's a, a cool albino tiger. And okay, that's it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna cut that one. <laughs> right now you guys are zip back and forth trying to find this little spot. So let's see. It doesn't seem possible, but man, it sure is, sure is weird. Now I'm a little bit worried now that I see that little clear spot, but I can see there's a, a lot of blood, which is a good, good, healthy sign that everything's okay. And maybe, just maybe, because it has, it's that could be why it looks so dark. And guess what, guys? Like predicted, why I wouldn't bet? It's an albino. Now, because it's albino to albino, everybody's got to be an albino. And if you look down there, you can actually see his eye. Ah, uh, he's not. He's not letting us. He just literally got shy when I said that. His eyeball was just sitting up there looking all cool. So there we go. So the, so everything's as, as planned. Uh, it's percentages. So everybody's albino because both parents were albino and compatible albino, even though they are different kinds of albino, one being a lavender and one being a white face. That means every time that the gene, every, every, every other egg technically has the white gene and every other egg has a, the, the, purple gene with the white gene which makes the lavender so there you go that's doing perfect looks great I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one around man there's a lot of eggs here that'd be funny if another one had a normal so you can see look how cool this is look you can just see the veins right over the top of its head and so that membrane ain't broken now let me show you the membrane so that membrane is right literally I've got my finger see look at that so it's, it's head is not through now it's got a little tooth right on the end right there and that little tooth is meant to cut through and the funny part is i don't feel it in this guy and that's exactly how they can die because they there you go popped right out so now he's out let's see if we can see that tooth wow i did not see the tooth on that one barely that is not very sharp let me see if i can find a, a really good one with a good long tooth on it that, that literally is what can happen, is that tooth is not sharp enough to get through these leathery eggs, because these eggs are literally, like, literally like, they're not like eggs. I mean, I could throw this around, bounce it around, and that snake would still not come out. So, so that's why you gotta cut it, and you can see there's actually some pressure in some of these. Some of them, sometimes they shrink up because they start absorbing stuff inside. But let's see. There it is. So that is a, now there's that membrane I talked about. Look at that. So my finger is not, see that right there? <laughs> so there's literally a membrane. I like to make sure that membrane's broken because you just saw one that I'm pretty sure doesn't have a tooth. And we would hate to have even one baby die just because I got lazy and didn't check it. Cause we know they're all ready. All their other ones hatched out. We had one just try to crawl out that's only a, maybe an hour away from, from leaving its egg completely. They'll sit in here anywhere from one to three days max. And uh, they, see there's them, see that right there? That's him, that's the, the uh, basically the yolk. And you can see all that's gonna go into the, into the an, animal and provide it for its first meal for around 14 days. About 14 days later, it'll actually shed somewhere, t sometimes 10, so it just depends. But, uh, Man, they're pretty babies. Everybody looks good. I got two eggs left. Three eggs left. No, two eggs left. Let's see if we got anything special on these last two eggs. This is like this is like a mad scientist project because there all these genes literally there was one in a million found, one in two million found of a reticulated python albino. Well, this is impossible. Like this snake here is a snake that has never been found in the wild because it's man-made. I'm gonna poke my whole finger in it. This has golden child in it, and it was, which was originally found one in millions. And then there was a tiger found one in millions. And then there was an albino found and one in millions. And then put it all back together. Here we did it all by natural breeding. And so this is literally just like a mad scientist thing. And we've actually made about 350 never seen in the wild snakes, which is kind of crazy, right? Think like wow that's like the original pokemon cards except these ones are living living little crazy creatures nothing's been done in unnaturally 
except the fact that we introduce certain ones to other ones in order to get a certain outcome. Took a long time, but as you can see, tons of different tons of different looks. And the crazy part is this is only three different color phases, th three different. Well, actually, technically, there's six different. We got in, we got a bunch of different despite because we got the white and the lavender. So besides the white and the lavender, there's golden childs, tigers, and normal albinos. But then you got white and lavender. So now all of a sudden there's six kinds of snakes out of this one clutch, but we've had some that had 140 kinds of snakes, which means that when you get this many eggs, you're never gonna see them all. Hope you guys enjoyed this kind of more in-depth video. Kind of tell us below if you think is, it, is do you like to hear more about them or is it like shut up and cut the eggs? <laughs> anyway, peace out you guys. Thanks for following. Thanks for checking everything out. We really appreciate everything you do and keep living your dream. Cause you know what? Not everybody wants to play in snakes, but I do. Peace out. <laughs>